What was it like waiting middle of the pack? That was a long list of riders to go. There's a lot of good ones to go. I know. <laughs> it was, uh, you know, I was really excited with uh, my horse today and my ride, and uh, uh, I didn't think I would win it, and I really got a little lucky to win it, to tell you the truth. As I mentioned out there, McLean was in time very fast and uh, really got unlucky. He lost a shoe and his horse slipped in the last jump. But uh, I'll take it, and uh, what a treat. <laughs> Did you know you had a, a derby horse? Uh, yes, I did. I, last year I competed with her in, the, in this Novus Derby and uh, was her first derby. And I really hadn't trained a lot of the natural jumps. And all she had was uh, A and C of the Devil's Dyke behind last year and she was sixth. And so this year I thought, you know, I better get ready and practice the Devil's Dyke a little more. And, and uh, she's always been good with the natural stuff, but the Devil's Dyke does take a little practice. And she was as bold as could be and jumped it beautifully today. And it was a treat to ride. What she like to, to run she's a, she's a lovely horse. She's got a lot of blood. She's very bold. And uh, she's got a little character. She's, a, she's a French blood and, uh, and a woman. So a little opinionated sometimes, but uh, she's, a, she's a really talented mare. And I've had her for two years now. We've had her for two years and had a lot of fun with her. How would you describe her development, having watched her you know, a couple of years ago when you got her? I mean, I remember when I first saw you on her, just even the whole rideability factor. And I mean, she's come so obviously so far, but, but it, it's, it, it is coming. I, th I think we still have some work to do, and uh, um, but the relationship is getting better, and uh, um, that's a nice thing. You know, at our age, uh, you don't really expect that. Um, <laughs> she's 13, and I'm getting on, and uh, um, she's uh, she's just trying her heart out more and more all the time. Did you go in with the strategy of um, obviously knowing her? You are in the middle of the pocket. You want to go clean, but speed is always an issue. How Absolutely. did you compromise all of that? I, you know, I wanted to go. I wanted to jump clean today, and uh, I ended up uh, slowing down quite a bit going out to the bank. Mm -hmm. I saw a deep one at the top, and then I was very slow down the bank. And I think in the beginning of the course, I was fast enough to make the time. And after the Devil's Dyke, I got a little careful and I really wanted to jump the rest clean and I slowed down a little bit at the number 14 and 15, the hedge and the uh, double. Because that's really where you can kind of blow it when you kind of know, okay, the dike is behind yeah. us. Yeah. But you still got a few more to go and the planks right at the end. Yeah. So. yeah, so I did slow down a little bit. I thought I had enough in the bank, but not quite. I think it was just a bit over 149 something. Do you know where uh, after the brown ox, I saw her by my head actually. Yeah, oh, it, went, it sure. went about 40 feet in the air. Yeah, it went high, and uh, I thought to myself, oh, that's not great. You know, because I know what happens when you lose a shoe on turf, it's, it's difficult. And, um, I got a bit slow to the, to the Liverpool double, so he was able to keep his feet, but uh, you know, I think when he had to set it the last, he just lost that right foot and kind of slid into it. And, Lost, lost the ability to really push off. Maybe I, I kept going at seven, he might have been a little lighter off the floor, but that's uh, what it could have shown. So. You're going to be happy though with his performance? I am. I'm thrilled. Uh, he came here the first week never having jumped a derby and jumped the course while it struggled with the Nationals. And I've been jumping him over these derbies over here in the Old Canada, which is kind of a new feature. Um, and I think it's helped him. He's won, I think, two or three of those classes. and. Uh, Today, jump the natural is really like nothing. Um, so, uh, you know, and I, I think it also helps my. I never did these derbies years ago, and and to do it a little bit more, you start to know certain things and how it plays out, and, and you continue to learn. You know, I, I would like to do seven to the last. I tried to do eight two years in a row, and I've gone through the last fence both years with a clear out. So, I think I'm going to make an adjustment next season. <laughs> Progression, I guess, throughout the entire tournament. No, he's been great. Um, this wasn't really the plan to do the derby. It was a last minute thing uh, because I, I hadn't really, I hadn't schooled any of it. I didn't know what to expect today, but it looked like a fun class the first week, and I really wanted to do it myself. So I just took one jump at a time, and he ended up great. He just got a bit green there in the Devil's Dyke, but uh, come back next year and try again. I think uh, I'd be more confident the next time.
Have you done a derby type class with him before? No, he has. That's his first. I, I haven't even. That's the first time he's ever been down a bank. But we didn't even school it before we came here or, or anything. Um, the first week, the Devon's like. Was it was in an option in a meter fifty class and he jumped it fine that day and so that's the reason why I went to the Yes, oh um, could each of you just say how often you encounter a derby maybe not even of this caliber, but a derby throughout the rest of the year on your tours? I know you kinda all do a little bit different, some spend more time in North America and more in Europe. Well we I mean, we have, we have these two in the summer, and uh, they, they have some speed derbies as well, so it depends on what you count. The speed derby would probably be with a different horse. So uh, this type of derby, really, I do just here. I mean, the, your other options are Hick, Hickstead and Hamburg, but I haven't been there to do those derbies. The same way we just get to see the, the derbies here. That's Spending more time in Europe, you don't do Hickstead or Hamburg? I did Hickstead last year, but it wasn't the derby meeting. We had, there was a lot of natural jumps, but uh, you know, not the same as this. Have you done Mill Street Derby? I have, a long time ago. Long time ago. Um, for me, the same. Uh, we do some speed derbies throughout Europe. There's a speed derby in Palm Beach on the field. Um, it would be nice to actually have a derby in Palm Beach. That's a beautiful field with a nice big bank. Uh, so it would be, it'd be nice to have it there, but uh, you know, it's, it's rare for sure. But it was nice to see 23 in today. I think, yeah. uh, I think uh, it really has to be said that Spruce Meadows has encouraged not only those smaller derbies, but also helping us you know, practice the naturals a little bit. Because some of us don't have that. I don't have those at home. Um, and so you have to go to another facility to do it. And uh, you know, being able to do it a little bit, uh, you get more comfortable. And I think you see the numbers increase because of it. Well, it's the same for me, really. The only other uh, venue that had a derby in Canada was uh, Twin Oaks out in Richmond, B.C. And uh, it hasn't gone for the last couple of years, but it wouldn't have been at the same level as this, uh, caliber of, uh, as this. So really, Spruce Meadows is the only place I've ever ridden a big derby. And one more question. As a rider, how, I mean, obviously it's very different. You have your balance changes coming down the hill, going through the double psych. I mean, BZ rode two horses today. Are you, are you exhausted or? No. No? Darren and I are exhausted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's old, so <laughs> <laughs> you can take that when you win. You can say that. When he loses, you can't say that. <laughs> um, to BZ, what does it feel like to be at the top of the bank and just have that rail? I mean, that had to be a hard break. Yeah, that was disappointing. <laughs> um, yeah, she, I don't know, I, I went, I was too conservative, I think. I was going for a short one, and I think she was just looking, not even looking at the fence, and remembered probably, first time she did it was this spring in, uh, at the National, and probably just remembered she was pulling up there. And then all of a sudden the fence was in front of her. But um, I thought she, you know, the rest, you asked me if I'm tired, but she jumped the rest of the course so easy and, and nice that, uh, it wasn't that exhausting to go wrong for me. For BZ, Dara, Jonathan, these are all your Grand Prix horses for the most part. He's coming up. How do you think classes like this help them in their education or, or uh, to prepare for other events? Or does it? I, I think as long as they're brave enough to do it, I think it's really nice for them to do something different. Keeps their interest. You know, Viva is uh, she's 15 now. So, if you, anything you can do to keep her interest in things, I think it, it's a good thing. Yeah, I think the same. Uh, especially after being here for five weeks and stuff, you know. Um, but it's something new for the horses to look at. And they actually go like, what's happening here? You know, all this different stuff. But uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's good. I think with the uh, you know the time allows them encounter here at Spruce Mountains and all the big competitions, uh, you know you could say a derby you might gallop on a little more and there's more room that the course isn't quite as technical really it's really just a long galloping course so it's, it is really nice for the horses to open up and and really jump at a gallop and not have to be boxed up all the time and shortened up so I agree with these guys it is a nice change and it's uh, really a nice change for the riders as well. Does it 
Did it ever get easier? Like knowing you're going in and it's the same course since 1990. It sure gives you a little, a little more confidence in knowing that you, what you have to do because when you get here in the morning to jump the Grand Prix, you have no, no idea what you're going to face. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, so, yeah, I think it. it a little more confidence in knowing what you, you've got to tackle and uh, um, still comes down to uh, are, are your friends or your peers going to beat you or not, but uh, it, 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 is, it is nice to be able to do that once in a while. I really enjoy it. The Devil's Deck jumped extraordinarily well today going in. Um, and you know, it, it, it's, it varies year to year. Do you, um, do you uh, attribute any of that to the new footing, or are the horse are just better at it now, and you're better at it, and it just didn't take the toll that it has taken in the past? I think you could say all, all the above. You know, the footing was great, and uh, um, people came prepared. I mean, there is a, it's your full horse's first time. Very brave to just jump through that like that. But um, yeah, I think BC, you have a devil's take at home, mm -hmm. and uh, prepare. And, I've been jumping in here. We've been yeah. doing it all yeah. these classes. Yeah. That's, that so really just helped my own practice. Beneficial. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Uh, where does this rank in your wins at Mr. Smith's? Uh, one of the few. <laughs> 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 but uh, it's, uh, it sure is a real treat to uh, win here at home and uh, with the crowd behind you. you know, it's, uh, it's a big win for me and uh, one I'll never forget. Further questions? Well, great. Congratulations to, to all of you. It was a, it was a great, uh, you know, you can talk about quality and quantity, but 23 came in today and they all gave it a go, and it was a great result. Congratulations, Jonathan. One time, one for the history.